Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And when you have your King James 1611 Bible, besides having a period at the end of a sentence and the next word being King, capitalized because it, it begins a sentence. When you look at the King James Bible taking the word King, K-I-N-G, capitalizing it 70 times. Now we're not going to look at all 70. But we're going to show you that that King is Jesus. The Son of God, the Savior, and that King is God Himself. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. Which is important for number one, it's a Bible doctrine. And number two, there are people in religions out there that deny the deity, which means Jesus is God. They deny it. And when they deny it, they deny the scriptures. And many of them go run to a different Bible version. So we're going to work backwards today. <clears throat> when I mean backwards, we're going to start with Revelation and work our way back. Because the New Testament will spell out Jesus. Because in the Old Testament, you can't find the word Jesus. So Revelation 17, 14, if you follow along with me. These shall make war with the Lamb, capital L. And the Lamb, capital L, shall overcome them. He is the Lord of Lords and the King, capital K, of Kings. They that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Now they that are with him is Christians. But the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings is Jesus Christ. It says in chapter 15 verse 3 and they, sang, they sing the song of Moses Old Testament Jewish the servant of God the Song of the Lamb, capital L, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, that's Jehovah, just and true are thy ways, thou King, capital K, of saints. The Lord God Almighty, thou King of the saints, King of kings and Lord of lords and king of kings. That's Jesus. First Timothy 6.15 Which in his times he shall show who is the blessed only potentate, capital P, the king, capital K, of kings and the Lord of lords. Again, that's Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 1.17 Now unto the King, capital K, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. There you go. You cannot say that Jesus is not God. And then turn around and say he's the King, Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. John 19, 21. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the king of the Jews, but that he said, I am the king of the Jews. Capital K. And Pilate will say, I have written what I have written. So, there he is. He's the king of the Jews. He's the king of the saints. 
He's the king of kings. He's king eternal. He's not a president. He's a king. John 19.15 Oh, let's go to John 19.14 And it was the preparation of the Passover about the sixth hour and he says unto the Jews Behold your king, capital K Now there's no reason to put a capital there there's, It's at the end of a sentence There is no name I mean there's no King George King Charles but the Holy Spirit puts the capital K because it is our Savior but they cried out away with him away with him crucify him and Pilate said unto him shall I crucify your king capital K chief priest answered we have no king small K but Caesar So we're not dealing with an ordinary man here. We're not dealing with an ordinary king. We're dealing with the royalty of the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. 19.3 And said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote him with their hands. John 18.39 but ye have a custom that I should release unto you one of the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the King, capital K, of the Jews? And just over and over, John 18.33, King, capital K, of the Jews. Now look at this. We'll see this again. John 12.15 Fear not, daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king, capital K, cometh sitting on the ass's colt. Verse 13, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king, capital K, of Israel, king of the Jews, king of Israel, that cometh in the name of the Lord, this Jehovah. John 1 49 Nathan answered and said unto him, Rabbi thou son of God thou art the king capital K of Israel Matthew 25 40 and the king capital K shall answer and say unto him verily I say unto you insomuch as he have done it unto me of the least of my brethren Jews ye have done it unto me Matthew 25, 34. Then shall the king, capital K, say unto them, his right hand, come, he blessed of my father, capital F. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Again, Matthew 21, 5. Tell ye the door of Zion, behold, thy king, Cometh unto thee meek, and sitteth upon an ass, and a colt of a foal of an ass. Matthew 5.35 Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. So, Jesus is the king of the saints. Jesus is the king of the Jews. Jesus is... King of kings and his reign his throne is in Jerusalem not Washington D.C. listen when Jesus comes he's going to wipe out that mosque the dumb of the rock Matthew 2 2 saying where is he that is born king of the Jews 
we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. That was the Magi. Malachi 1.14 But cursed, ye, cursed be the deceiver which has in his flock a male and bowers and sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, capital K, saith the Lord of hosts. Now, the Lord, that's Jehovah. Jehovah is saying, I am a great capital K, the Lord of hosts. We just saw in the New Testament, now we're in the Old Testament, we just saw that that title is Jesus. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. You've got to get that right. Zechariah 14, 17 And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts. Well, if you go back to Malachi, it says, I am the great king, save the Lord of hosts. Jerusalem. These all tie together with Jesus. Zechariah 14, 16. It shall come to pass that everyone that is left in all the nations which came on against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king the Lord of hosts, to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. That's Jewish. By the way, just a side note, that probably could be the day that Jesus was born. But Zechariah 9.9 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, the king cometh unto thee. He is just, having salvation. That's our Savior. Only Jesus saves. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Lowly and riding upon an ass, upon the colt, the foal of an ass. You find that written in the Gospels. And the one that rolled upon that colt, and the one that rolled upon that ass, was Jesus Christ. They cut the branches down as Jesus came into the city. Daniel 4.37 Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praised and exalted and honored the King of Heaven. The king of heaven. That's a Gentile. The king of heaven is Jesus. God. Jeremiah 51, 57. I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers, her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake. Saith the king whose name is the Lord of hosts. Well, the Lord of hosts is Jehovah. Again, Jeremiah 48, 15. It says, The king, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Jeremiah 46, 18. Saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Jeremiah 23, 5. The day has come, saith the Lord, that's Jehovah, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, capital B, and a king, capital K, shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth, that's Jesus Christ. He's the branch. Isaiah 44, 6. Thus saith the Lord, the king of Israel, 
the Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, Alpha. I am the last, Omega. And beside me there is no God. So Jesus is not a separate God. And God is not a separate God from each other. Now that's what the Jews believe. The Jews believe by worshiping Jesus, well, we worship Jehovah and then we worship Jesus, that they're two different deities. And that's not the case. He's one. Isaiah 43, 15, I am the Lord, Jehovah, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. So Jesus is Creator. And you'll find Paul write about Jesus as Creator. But the Creator is Israel. God made Israel out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the four wives of Jacob. Those children were made by God. Those children, those twelve sons, were set up to be a nation by Jesus. Isaiah forty one twenty one Produce your cause, saith the Lord, bring forth your strong reason, saith King of Jacob. Isaiah 6 5 saith the king the Lord of hosts Psalms 149 2 let Israel rejoice in him that made him okay there we go who made Israel the king let the children of Zion Jewish be joyful in their king they don't have no king today the last king they had is when Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem. That was it. I believe it was Zedekiah. There's been no king. They crucified their king. Their king is coming back to set up his throne in Jerusalem. Psalms 98.6 with trumpets and the sound of a cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Psalms 95, 3. For the Lord is a great God and a great King. All right, so there is great God and a great King. There, there are two and they're one above all gods. Psalms 84, verse 3. Yea, the sparrow has found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thy altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Thomas says, my Lord, my God. That's what was this say here, my King and my God, my Lord, my God. Psalm 74, 12. For God is my king of old, working salvation. Jesus means Jehovah saves. Psalm 68, 24. They have seen thy goings, O God, even the goings of my God, my king, in the sanctuary. That's not an ordinary king. That's capital K. Psalm 48, 2, beautiful for situation, and joy of all the horror is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king, Jerusalem. There is coming a period of time where you're going to associate Jerusalem with the king. And you're going to associate the king with Jesus Christ. Over his people, the Christians, and over God's people, the Jews. Psalms 47, 7, For God is the King. There you go. 
of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. So when you go to a Baptist church and some other churches, you open up the hymn book, who are you singing to? You are singing to God. You are singing to Jesus Christ. Why do you do that? Because it's in the Bible. Psalms 47 2. For the Lord Most High is terrible. That means he's just great in power. He inspires terror. He's a great king over all the earth. That's millennial. That's yet future. He ain't king over the earth now. Satan is. It's a future prophecy. I mean, forget it. You're not going to have a president. You're going to have a king. I think Psalm 47, 6. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto King. Sing praises. Psalm 47, 2. For the Lord Jehovah, most high is terrible. He is the great king over the earth. Okay, that's the one we were reading. I lost my place. Psalms 44, 4. Thou art my king, O God. There you go. No question. Command deliverance for Jacob. When Jesus Christ comes back at the second advent, he's coming back to redeem, to purchase, and to seal and to save Israel. He's not coming back for Americans. He's not coming back for the English. He's not coming back for the Africans. He's coming back for the children of Israel. Psalms 29.10 The Lord sitteth upon the flood Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. Psalms 24, 10. Who is the king of glory? King of glory. The Lord of hosts. God, Jesus. He is the king of glory. Selah. Lift up your heads, Psalms 24, 9. O ye gates, that's the gates of the city, Jerusalem. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. That's the future. And the king of glory shall come in. Psalm 24, 8. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Don't mess with God. Psalms 24, 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Future. The king of glory shall come in. Psalms 10, 16, the Lord is king. Jehovah is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. <laughs> you know, all those Arabians, Hamas, the Muslims, the Americans, the English, all those who, who are in that land today are going to be, but get out. See ya. This is not your land. Israel one day will sing, This land is our land. This land is our land. <laughs> From the river Jordan <laughs> to the Mediterranean Sea. And Psalms 5 2. Hearken. Unto the voice of my cry, O King, and my God, my Lord, my God, for unto thee will I pray. You better believe, and you better know, and you better get the right Bible. Thomas said plain and simple in, in the Gospel of John, the resurrected Jesus. The second time he showed up because Thomas wasn't there the first time. Doubting Thomas. I don't care. He, he, Thomas. 
my Lord, my God. That's the king. He's the king of the saints. He's the king of the Jews. He's the king of glory. He's also God. 